let's do this. Slicing and dicing with Siri early. Welcome to uh, another Rebel Air walkthrough. I'm back at it with The Witcher 3. Diving straight into the action with Siri. Or Cirilla, so my phone don't get crazy. <laughs> but yeah, let's do it. It looks like we're gonna just keep getting so many enemies. They are coming left and right. I am out of here. I don't got time to fight all night. Oh my goodness. I love the regeneration ability with Siri, man. She's so dope. So many enemies. I think I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Run. Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. I'm not down with that, man. <laughs> She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die, but it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die, <laughs> you see you, handsome knight. <laughs> I'm listening. What do you come to me with? All right, let's tell the Baron exactly what happened. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Well, he's not lying. But I can't quite tell him that doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. I think I heard enough of his family story. But we still need information on Siri, so... I don't know. Nah, we just need info. I can't hear about this no more. 
sorry, but your life story, just not interested. This isn't a social call. I'm here on business. Will you at least tell me how Anna wound up in that blasted bog? Let's give him the details. Why not? She made a pact with the crones and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. I don't know if he wants to do that. Can't break the pack, but I mean, I'm not advising it. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently, and I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. Cool. We still need information on Siri, so I held up my end of the deal. I'm ready for your end. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. It landed right in front of us. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Alright, let's do this. A basilisk. Ah, uh, I feel like the last time I heard of basilisk was like Harry Potter. <laughs> Didn't it, wasn't it like a giant snake or something like that in like the, the second movie? I could be bugging, but I think that's the like the last time I heard of Basilisk. Let's take this thing down. It looks more like a griffin to me. One very ugly looking griffin. And we are chopping its health down. Oh. Still be a little bit careful, but this doesn't look like it stands much of a chance if you ask me. Nice.
You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You better not. <laughs> I certainly hope not. It's brought me no small trouble. Meaning? I must flee. Wraiths pursue me. The world hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Finally, some information. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Who was the letter to? No one. It was like this one. Show that to those pricks at the crossing, and they'll let you pass. This for me? See no reason to make things harder for you? You seek your child, this letter will help. Nice. Making progress. Where do you get these letters? Haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. We got our next destination. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Alright, why not? Can't hurt to help. Can't do this right now though, but why not? Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. <laughs> this Baron got all types of stuff going on. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster. But my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Must have been pretty desperate to play for that. Ah, oh, quit your carping, smart ass. Someone wagered him and we played. If anyone was desperate, it was the bugger's former master. Funny story. How so? 
Went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsemen's blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Hilarious. Real side splitter. Oh, you wouldn't know a good tale from a runny fart. <laughs> what? Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like it. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. <laughs>